What is up my friends? You are very welcome along to Monday night's Transfer News Roundup. There has been some big developments throughout the day giving us a few clues as to what Liverpool might be looking to do between now and the window slamming shut on the 1st of September. So I'm going to spend the next 8 to 10 minutes filling you guys in on where we're at. Of course asking you to let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do drop a like on the video and if you haven't hit the subscribe button please do join the other 200 four thousand people that have joined a little community and again thank you for all of your support so look let's start off with i guess the big news of the day the headline is that liverpool are not looking to add another defensive midfielder to the squad however we are looking to add a midfielder so this poses a few questions firstly okay if we're not looking to sign a dm why are we still being linked strongly with the core the answer to that is I truly don't know. Maybe Klopp feels like the core can be used in a six or an eight. Maybe he feels like he would just be a good all-around signing. But there's some downsides to that. Namely, that Crystal Palace will want a rather significant amount of money, and I understand that as well. We've left it very late in the window to be knocking on club's doors to try and sign players that are useful to those teams. That's why the stuff around Gravenberts that I'll move on to in a minute maybe makes a bit more sense. If Crystal Palace lose to Corre right now, they have a very short window of time to replace them and they would want a premium for that. I don't think that we're going to pay it. So if you're asking me what I think will happen, it will come down to Bayern moving on their the availability of Ryan Gravenberch. And if he's available to be sold, I think we're in there and I think we make a play for him. But it will come down to Bayern. Now, as of right now, many people, Fabrizio and other journalists, are saying that Bayern are maintaining a stance that he isn't for sale for now. But the interesting thing is, Bayern are on the lookout for another midfielder themselves. They've been linked with Ibrahim Sangar, they've been linked with a few others. So, I think this will be a late dash, and it's nerve-wracking, right? Because we've already been let down by the owners and there are attempts to sign Lavia and attempts to sign Caicedo. We did get Endo in and I'll move on to talk about him in a moment, but we've rifle questions to ask how we are still here on the 20th of August needing at least two more signings and what has taken so long because we still need the centre back that Jurgen Klopp has wanted all summer and we need another midfielder. Now, to go back to the non-defensive midfielder signing for a moment, my reading of it, and it is just my looking from the outside, trying to figure it out, makes me think maybe Klopp wants to go back in in January for Andre when Fluminense are more willing to sell for £17 million, knowing that we are then six months away from Thiago leaving. So that could make sense. Maybe we have another potential uh, number six style player that Klopp's looking at, added to obviously by Cechic's return to fitness. Makes sense. We've signed Endo. But can we please give Endo a chance? That's one thing that I feel like I've had to really ramp across in my streams in the past few days. People keep saying it's a cheap signing, and I get it, but you can't blame the owners on this one. This was a Klopp signing. Klopp looked around and decided that this was the best fit that he could find for a number six right now that he could get done. And I'm okay with that, because Endo could be an absolute masterstroke for the next two or three years. And we need a defensive midfielder, and we've gotten a defensive midfielder. So let's give the man the benefit of the doubt and give him a chance to prove his worth. After that, I am all out of excuses for the owners and the manager, because the fact we're sitting here now, having brought in, what have we brought in, three players now and lost eight, still leaves more questions than answers. So it's going to be a hectic end to the window. What we need for this window to be a success, in my opinion, is another midfielder and a left-sided centre-back. Smart money right now would seemingly be going on Ryan Gravenberch. Manchester United are also in the mix for his signature. But I think Liverpool have done enough groundwork there that I think we could get the job done. We are no longer interested in Sophie and Amrabat. I mentioned this to you guys a few days ago. It's been confirmed now by many journalists, so we can put that one to bed. Liverpool ruled themselves out of that deal last week. So with regards to potential outgoings, well, one came up today and it worries me. And that is that Rafael Benitez and Celta Vigo are apparently interested in bringing in Cuevin Kelleher and adding him to their squad. Now, at the start of the summer, I would have understood this because we would have had time to bring in a replacement goalkeeper. But right now, we can't stare down the barrel of a season with Adrian as a number two. It is just an accident waiting to happen. So... I hope he doesn't leave now. 
And I feel bad saying that because I do want Cuivine to get the opportunity to play first team football. He deserves that. But we're not going to get a replacement in that I'm aware of as good as him at this stage in the window. We've seen other clubs go out there and bring in keepers. Obviously, Arsenal brought in Raya to give competition to uh, their number one. And I don't know how Ramsdale feels about that, but Arsenal have brought it in. So for us, we need to have two top-level keepers. And we do. So I hope we don't lose Cuevin Kelleher this late in the window. With regard to a left-sided centre-back, it looks like it's down to three names. Per Schurz from Torino, who won't be uh, young enough to not have to take up a homegrown spot. We have Incapia of uh, Bayer Leverkusen, who would be young enough to not take up a non-homegrown spot. And the other one that we've been linked to is, of course, um, who is the other one, Craig, now I think? Incapia... Uh, Perishers and who was the other one? Oh yes uh, Thiete from Ron who I don't know much about in all honesty but his name has been mentioned so I'm happy if we end this window bringing in let's say because the manager wants Gravenberch let's be honest he seems to want them so Gravenberch and Hincapia on top of Alexis McAllister Dominic Sobitzlai and Endo and I think that's an acceptable rebuild it's probably going to be around a net spend then of about 150 million if you take into account the money we may spend in January for Andre. Um, that's okay. I think we would have all understood that at the start of the window. But it's easy to sit here and say if the clock's ticking and if we don't get those players and if we don't fill those voids in our squad, then I feel like Liverpool fans have every right to start to get a bit more uppity and call out the owners and ask serious questions about what on earth happened. Because we've had long enough to plan for it. It's okay if we get it done. If we don't, excuses aren't going to cut it. But my take on this is, even now if we do get them done, I still feel like some damage could have already been done to our season. Who's to say that if we had brought Endo in a week or two earlier and he had more time to train that we wouldn't have finished up winning against Chelsea and then we started on the barrel of this Newcastle game and if we can go to St James's Park and get a win, we could have been put in pressure and we could have had a great start if we lose out on either a Champions League spot or, heaven forbid, a title challenge by a point or two, you have to ask, did we give ourselves the best chance to win the league this season? And the answer is no, because we left a lot of deals too late in the window. So I hope it doesn't cost us, but it is a high-risk strategy, particularly because two more years of Klopp only left after this season. So fingers crossed. It is now over to you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Who would you like to see come in? Um... I've got to be honest and say I've never been convinced on Graven Birch. I know the potential, but I am trusting Klopp. If he wants the player, let's get him and let's see what Klopp can do. So it's over to you guys now. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do drop a like on the video. And again, thank you for your support of the channel. It really does mean a lot to us. And I uh, hope you continue to enjoy the content. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.